puritanical. So the stories get more and more puritanical as they go. The final one about Isaac, the same story, is that you know she didn't even get into his house. So anyway, the poet basically repeats himself. But you see, the presentation of Abraham is not very uh, strong. Hagar, the bond servant, uh, Sarah uh, harasses him. Sarah's mean. She harasses him. She says, throw this woman out. Throw this woman out. Even though Abraham prefers sleeping with her, and uh, like women would do these days. And uh, so she harasses him, and finally he has to send her away because uh, she doesn't want Hagar's child playing with her child. So Sarah's not very nice. Abraham's a weakling, henpecked. And actually, the Muslims can say what they want, but Ishmael's presented very positively. Uh, or Hagar. Uh, God blesses Hagar and Ishmael by a well. So, I mean, and Jacob. Is he a nice guy? Yeah, he's a horrible guy. He steals his brother's birthright, Esau. But why is Esau red and hairy? You know why Esau is red and hairy? Because, how many know the Bible? Esau came out red and hairy. Because red in Hebrew is Edom, and hairy is Ser, and the Edomites are the descendants of Esau. And Edom in Hebrew means red. And also their capital was Mount Ser. Mount Hare. <laughs> so in the story as it goes back, Esau, the father of these people who the Hebrews knew as the Edomites were their next door neighbors, who were already called Edomites. Why do you think the Edomites were called red? Why do you think the Red Sea is called red? It's not red, it's blue. I've been there. If you go to Arizona or you go to Iran or lots of places, if you look in the distance at mountains, what color do they look? Red. If you go into Palestine, Israel, and you go down the Dead Sea to the Red Sea, you'll look on the left, all the mountains are red. On the right, they're all brown. If you go down the Red Sea, all the mountains are red next to the Red Sea. I mean, that's how they look. You can see their reflection in the Red Sea. They're all red. I'm sure the Red Sea got its name from the color of the mountains along its, its edge. And the people, the Edomites, got their name from the Red Mountains, not because Esau was red and hairy. You follow me? <laughs> so here's the poet again. And the capital was Ser, which meant hair in Hebrew. So therefore, he's red and hairy. But well, I don't care. It's a great story. <laughs> Nobody remembers that he saw that the Edomites lived in the red country and their capital was Ser. Everyone remembers that Esau was red and hairy. It's a wonderful, wonderful story. <laughs> anyway, so look here. So that's where, uh, so we end with uh, Joseph and we get down into, so we're getting... You know, uh, smaller and smaller groups. So at this time we're Hebrews. By the time Moses appears and Joseph, we're starting to become Israelites. When the Jews are in Egypt, the, the Egyptians call them Hebrews, but they among themselves are pictured as calling themselves Israelites. Now when we get into the division of north and south, the, the south will be Judah and the north will be Israelites. That's around after David, who's, I'll, I'll pick this up next time, uh, just wait a minute before you run, I know you all want to run. 1000 BC is David, and the temple built, 1000 to 950 under Solomon and David. Solomon's son is not strong enough to hold the thing together, and splits north and south under a general of David in the north. The north gets to be called Israel, the south gets to be called Judah, after David's tribe. But the north is destroyed in this Isaiah material that I just read when the Assyrians come in the 700s. And the south miraculously survives down to the 500s, 600s, 585, when the Babylonians, Nebuchadnezzar, comes and carries them away and destroys the temple, etc., 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 etc. But you see, that's where we get the, the legend I'll cover next time with the ten lost tribes of Israel, because they didn't come back. But the Judeans do come back. And then what do we get in modern language? Jews. So each it narrows right down. Hebrews, Israelites, Judeans, Jews. That's how it works. Sorry to waste so much time with you. You're not responsible for any of this. Finish it up next time. We'll start reading Daniel next time. You read Daniel. We'll get there. Sorry to you. I'll try to get you go at uh, 9.35 you. But I'm just in a bit of a rush. We we'll missed the first period. Hey, you
wanted me to do the Islam course. And you better go and speak to them because they're doing the schedule for next time. Okay. But uh, someone wanted the Old Testament, and whoever wanted that better go. And uh, someone wanted the Christian origin, so you have to, I can't do this. They're doing the schedule. You know, you guys sort it out, because so, uh, I'll do whatever you want, if you want anything. But it's being put, the, the, uh, the, the, the scrolls are being put in place, so uh, it's, your, it's your job to sort out what scrolls you want. I'll do whatever you want. Where's the pen? <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Okay. Uh, you know, I've got some energy. Good. I think yeah. I do. I, I do. I think I do. I'm not, I'm not over the hill yet. Almost. Okay. Um, what am I doing? What do you want me to do? Are you going to work all this out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have to. We already know what we're doing. Okay. What day is it? What day yeah, do we need? Started. I'm coming to class. Do we need September 17th? Yes. Well, I've had some people from that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I have my paper. That's cool. So you can write a paper? A paper. How long is your paper? We'll discuss it next time because I'm just in a bit of a rush now, but I'll talk to you another time. I think it's be if you're not coming to class and you got to make it longer. No, I am coming. Okay, so it'll be shorter if you take it faster then. So if, you, if you're not going to take tests, then the paper has to be longer. If you're not going to take tests, then we can do it. I was going to do okay. all of it. But you need to put something in. <laughs> I don't know. That's you to put in. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. You write in. I don't know what you want. I don't care what you write in. Write anything. That doesn't make any difference. It's just okay. bullshit. It's bureaucracy. I always play. It's just bureaucracy. You want me to write something in, I'll do it next time. But you write something. You write in. So I'll just write in when I'm You write it. You write it. Because I don't have time to go over all this stuff with them. I gotta, you know, the class is over, we gotta go home. It doesn't even matter, it's just below me. You just write something useful and... Because I remember in uh, Modern Jewish Thought, you said the graduate students had to do the paper as well as the test. That's if it was, you know, but you guys don't want it. No, I do. Okay, so that's cool. What? So yeah, that's what we're doing. There was a no one, we'll write a 25-page paper. Okay, I'm just gonna write a 10 to 15-page paper and right. take both of the tests. There you go. Fine. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, we'll argue.